Joining us right now is Jonathan Greenblatt, Anti-Defamation League's CEO. Good morning to you. Um, I thought you had a, a, a decent relationship with Elon Musk. We've had a number of conversations yeah. over the last uh, several months where you've come on and been supportive. So what, what, what happened here? Well, so let's step back, right? <clears throat> so I had a meeting last week with Linda Yaccarino, the new CEO of Twitter, right. right, at her request. And we had a very frank and productive conversation. I tweeted afterwards about that fact that we had a frank and productive conversation, as I've had with Elon Musk in the past. And then that triggered a number of white supremacists to organize this hashtag campaign, Ban the ADL. And you've got to understand, and we're used to this at the ADL, we regularly get attacked by the right and the left, but this campaign went viral very quickly with white supremacists, you know, right. hardened anti-Semites and other people spreading it across the service. And it literally was a trending topic over the course of the weekend. Do you fundamentally believe that Elon Musk is anti-Semitic? I have never said Elon Musk is anti-Semitic. I've been on this show and said that I didn't think he was anti-Semitic. And I don't think Twitter as a platform is anti-Semitic. And as we've said here, hate speech is the price of free speech. But let's acknowledge that when Elon Musk and the platform bring people, hardened anti-Semites, right. back on, when they validate their rantings, when they algorithmically amplify them and allow it to spread. Like, Andrew, here's the thing. I have to deal with, as the head of the ADL, the real-world consequences. So just put this in context. In the last few years, we've seen a historic rise of anti-Semitic acts of harassment, vandalism, and violence. Over the past month, we've seen dozens and dozens of swattings of synagogues bomb threats against Jewish institutions. This past weekend, we had Nazis right. march out in the open in Florida. It looked like a scene from Charlottesville. So the truth is, is that our community is vulnerable. People are on edge. And when Elon Musk is amplifying these people, like, it's very problematic. How out there are you, publicly and behind the scenes, talking to advertisers and telling them, do not advertise on this platform. Are you doing that? We are not out there publicly or privately talking to advertisers. Okay. They will make the decisions that they want to. Frankly, it's true, we did call for a pause back in November right. after the acquisition. And then since then, since that initial statement, what we are doing is engaging with the management of the company, trying to help them make it better. Have you had any conversations with Linda Yaccarino since this weekend? We've exchanged this... text messages. And what? <laughs> is it... Look, it's hard for me to understand exactly what's happening over there. I understand they have a big business problem. I mean, Elon tweeted something I didn't know, that the advertising revenue is down 60 percent. Right. But look, brands are big boys and girls. They will make their own decisions. I mean, let's be clear here. Like, this is the wealthiest man in the world running one of the most powerful media platforms on the planet. We're a nonprofit here in New York. So I think figuring out, like, who has the power in this relationship is pretty clear to me. Jonathan, how, 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 how do you do, rectify these two things? Zero tolerance for anti-Semitism, sure. zero tolerance for diluting the First Amendment. How do you, what, how do, you do it? How do, you can't, because it, it... Well, I think there are things you can do, right? So I think you can choose to, to amplify or de-amplify certain about, phrases should, and should, statements. Should crazy white supremacists, Nazis, be able to march? Well, of course they should be able okay, to march. So they should the be able ADL to march. defended the right but of just Nazis to march in Skokie. Right, that's, but, maybe that's, that's, but it seems like it's coming along. Uh, but maybe they shouldn't march right in front of the synagogue on a Saturday morning. Right. Like, there are ways we can have free speech right. and open dialogue. Wait, wait, 